Hello everyone and welcome to the Student Awards of the Royal Television Society Republic of Ireland Centre. Faram Fir Fáilte Riv Gachdina an Sáanacht. I'm Agnes Cogan and I'm the chair of this centre and also the chair of the jury for our Student Awards. We've been presenting awards to students for the creativity, imagination and skill of their work since 2007 and these awards have come to be established, recognised and respected both at home and abroad. An RTS Royal Television Society award can be the open sesame to a lasting career on TV and media as many can attest. In this extraordinary year no one knew quite what to expect and we were quite frankly astonished at the quantity and the quality of this year's entry given the circumstances in which it had to be produced. The sheer invention and ingenuity with which our entrants tackled the daunting prospect of production in a time of lockdown was so impressive, we were just filled with admiration for them. Because of the restrictions of this year's circumstances, the number of categories for consideration was reduced to three from the usual five. Plus, and these are animation, in which we had a really high entry this year and of a very high standard, scripted, which would include drama, comedy, situation comedy and material of that kind, and non-scripted, which would be documentary, factual, reality TV, quizzes, panels and game shows, the kind of material which is the bedrock of the daily television schedule. In each category, the jury, consisting of myself, Bill Malone of Virgin Media, Peter McAvoy and Noel Smith, both ex-RTE, Leish Nigolig of TG Carr, and RTS representative Charles Byrne have viewed all the entries and we have selected three finalists from which one will be chosen to receive the RTS trophy for their category and to go forward to the grand final in London at which winners from the 27 centres of the RTS will take part and at which an overall winner will be chosen. And surprisingly often, that winner has come from here. Many thanks to the jury for all their hard work, though looking at all these wonderful productions was no great hardship. In particular, thanks are due to James Hackett, our technical director, without which this evening's event would just not have been possible. Tonight, we're fortunate to have some distinguished guests to announce the winners. We have Dee Forbes, Director General of RTE, our Irish national broadcaster, Alan Esselmont, Ord Stuhor of our Irish language channel, and Bill Malone, Director of Content, Virgin Media, who is also, of course, a jury member. They'll disclose who are the lucky recipients of the trophies in the three categories. Because, all, because of all the lockdown restrictions, we can't actually present the trophies here tonight, but we'll ensure that they get to the right places. In addition, each of tonight's nominees will receive a Royal Television Society certificate. And so to our first category, animation. As I said earlier, we were astonished at the number of entries in this category and at their amazing quality. Whittling it down to three finalists was no easy task, but we managed it. And they are Tenant. This is a very clever and original piece of work, hand-drawn and with particular appeal to a younger audience. It tells a story familiar to many students living with strangers in unfamiliar places with an awareness of all the others who have lived there previously. Imaginative use of sound is particularly effective in this piece. Husky, a story of heroism and the old west of the American frontier. A Civil War veteran saves a Native American child out of the massacre of her village. The tale is simply and graphically told with a chalk on a blackboard style line drawings and with the fading and flickering appearance of an old movie. This effect is known as boiling. A subtle and restrained soundtrack provides the right amount of old west American atmosphere. Glitch, an astonishingly inventive and colourful account of video games and how they can take over your life. 
Using a combination of 2D and 3D animation, this piece illustrates the perils of gaming addiction, especially among young people, with scary and disturbing images increasingly terrifying and threatening our young protagonist. And to tell us who the trophy for best animation goes to, I am delighted to welcome arts juror T.G. Cahar, Alan Esselbont. T.G. Cahar has a very good track record with regard to animation. They've been screening what's been described as the coolest animation on TV, SpongeBob SquarePants, since 2006. And now, thanks to T.G. Cahar, SpongeBob the movie, Re Spunche Re is the first Irish language movie on Netflix. Over to you, Alan. Grumahat, Agnes. Ta Spongebob er tigi gair le biog nach fiche blian. Agus in eis idr mwtein, agus macala an coltum laclia an sas to gwrmwch in an an sconan a chwrirae gydi Netflix. Tigi gair will have been on air for 25 years this year. And I like to think that the animation industry in Ireland and TG Care have grown up together. I also like to think that TG Care has helped the animation industry along the way, and certainly the animation industry in Ireland has helped us. And as we look forward to a world after COVID and hopefully a reimagined audiovisual ecosystem in Ireland, I'd like to think that TG Care will continue uh, to support animation in Ireland and even deepen that support for the industry, but also especially for Irish talent in the industry. And talking of Irish talent in the industry, it's time to open the envelope. And the trophy for best animation goes to Husky, Dara Scott of the National Film School, IEDT. Kolarjikas Latsa Dara, Agus Kolarjikas Le IEDT. And with us, we have Dara Scott, who wrote and directed that wonderful animation, Husky. And Dara, I'm delighted to tell you that you are the receiver of the RTS ROI Trophy Student Awards for Best Animation 2021. Well, thank you so much. I am incredibly honoured uh, to receive this award. Uh, 
And I'd just like to quickly thank uh, all of the people who were involved in uh, bringing this project uh, uh, to life. I'd like to thank uh, my college, IADT. Uh, I'd like to thank my family and friends, uh, in particular, my girlfriend, Alison, uh, my brother, Kevin, uh, my sister, Megan. Uh, I'd like to thank all of my lecturers, uh, especially Damien Byrne, who was an immense uh, help throughout the course of this uh, film. And without him and all of the support that I've had throughout, uh, it wouldn't have been possible. So uh, I'd like to thank them all. And the best of luck, Dara. You will go forward to London to headquarters to the grand final of the RTS Student Awards. So I wish you every good fortune there. And unfortunately, because of the circumstances this year, we can't actually hand you the trophy, but it will get to you. Don't worry. Well, thank you very much. And well done to Dara, who wrote and directed that amazing animation. And now let's take a look at the complete version of Husky. Produce yourself with raised arms or ready for hell. What is your business here? Hokshi. Hokshi. Husky. Hokshi. Hokshi. It's Husky. He's Husky. Oh, look, I, I ain't a stitch. Best head back to your people. I can't do nothing for you here. If I die on your porch, bury me how you like. <clears throat> Best get leaving soon. I'll take you to your people. Well. 
bag. Pardon the intrusion. Damn muck swing my nag. Had to put her down. You a part of the chaos down by Devil's Gulch? They were well warned, but they refused to go west of the Minnesota. General Butler himself negotiated a peace with those people. Not with us. Well, I'll see you hang for this. Would you settle a quandary for me, sir? That squaw in your care? You keeping it for a bed, or is it your pet? You keep your damned eyes off that child. As you say. Sorry, Captain. But I'm in need of your nap. I'll do you right. The squad will pay when the camera finds out what's been done to you. Watch close to the one. to introduce our next category non-scripted is the RDS representative on our jury, Charles Byrne. Charles is a founder member of the Royal Television Society Republic of Ireland Centre and was the chair almost from the beginning. To many people, Charlie and the RTS are synonymous. Good evening. We have chosen three nominees for the non-scripted award. This award is for programmes of any subject matter and style, which can include specialist factual programmes, documentaries, panel and game shows and reality TV. 
This kind of programming forms the foundation of TV scheduling every day. It is the bread and butter of broadcasting, and the nominees are Fatherly, what happens when a couple breaks up and a man who delights in fatherhood and has formed a strong bond with his child loses contact. The story of the heartbreak of this young father is sympathetically told. It presents a different and unfamiliar angle on the role of the father in contemporary society. This is easy, an astounding story of gambling addiction. It led to a celebrated court case, which many people may remember involving theft, embezzlement, huge debts and a jail sentence. The narrative technique is extremely simple, mainly a straightforward interview, but the story told is compelling in its intensity and the viewer is gripped from the beginning to the tragic end. Fears, a game show with a reality TV twist, where the guests have to confront the things they are most scared of, snakes and rats and creepy crawlies and such. This show was fortunate to get in just hours before the lockdown. The production team put a lot of work into it with an entertaining result. She doesn't understand. I mean, today when I dropped her home, she wanted to walk me around the house, you know. show your things, you know, and my mum was like, you know, saying, okay, say bye to daddy. She didn't want to let me go. She was like, no, no, daddy, daddy, look at Elf, look at this, look at that. And she holds on to him now really tightly. She's not even two yet, she's two next week, and she definitely understands that you're gone or you're leaving, because she understands the routine now. And it kills her. She cries being dropped home now because she understands the process. She cries on a Monday morning when I drop her to crash because she knows that's it for a while. It's torturous for her. I remember the pain myself as a child. So I know exactly what she feels. I, I've been there, I've felt it. And it aches and it hurts and it's because she loves me now. She understands that I'm her father. Not her guardian, her father. So now bets of kind of 200 and 100 were becoming more common. So a couple of weeks before we were due to get married, I realised that there was nothing on the credit card. I gambled it all and I couldn't get another loan. I'd, I'd got so many loans in the previous couple of months that they wouldn't give me another loan. Um, I remember I started panicking, thinking, how am I going to um, pay for the balance of the wedding? And I remember my wife came up, my wife to be came home one day and said that um, her father had offered to pay for the balance of the wedding as a present. And she was saying, we can't take that much off him because it was due to be about five or 6,000 euro. And I was trying to convince her, yes, we can take it off. Like he wants to pay because she didn't know our financial situation. I had hidden it from everyone, I'd hidden it for her, the kind of problems we were in. And he eventually, you know, I eventually persuaded her to allow him to pay for the balance of the wedding. Um, so I arrived over to Cyprus thinking that I'm going to enjoy the wedding, going to have a great time, you know, great opportunity, surrounded by f friends and family. Arrived into the hotel that night and champagne on arrival, it was picturesque, it was a balcony overlooking the sea, candles on tables, it looked really beautiful, it was a really nice setting and we had a great night and I remember went up to bed that night feeling really content and just as I was about to leave the foyer of the hotel I noticed that they had a PC with internet access so I could kind of, that's so to see, well maybe I can put on one or two bets but I'm over here. That's right Rog, you're going to be joined by these rats in this box and you have to try and get as many tokens as you can. Are you ready, Rog? Yes. Okay. Right. Holy moly, where are we going? <laughs> okay, Rog. Uh, it's all on you now. Your time starts uh, now. 
Oh, that's it, Roger. Have a good dig there. around. They're there somewhere. Oh my goodness. There you go. Perfect. Yeah, you just keep doing that. I know the ball. That's it, Roger. They're afraid of you, Rog. They're afraid of you. Don't you worry. You're doing brilliant. Amazing work, Roger. I'm loving the technique here. Oh, 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 oh so very close there. Don't <laughs> You're doing great, Rod. Come on. Don't, don't, don't. This is only round number one, Rod. This is only round number one. Come on. You're used to 12 rounds, Rod. You're doing brilliant, Roger. You're doing brilliant. T minus 20 seconds. Come on, let's do this. That's it, Rod. Not long to go now. Under 20 seconds. You're doing oh, brilliant, Rodney. Oh, oh. That's great, Rod. That's great. Oh my god. Ah. And ah. ah. Rodney, time is up. You can come out of there, Rodney. Come out. Give him a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely brilliant. And to tell us who's going to get the trophy for the non scripted category, we are honoured to have Dee Forbes, Director General of RTE, Ireland's national broadcaster. Dee has been a great supporter and champion of the RTS and its endeavours in the field of media education and the promotion and encouragement of young programme makers. Everybody and uh, delighted to be here tonight to announce the winner of the non-scripted category at this year's um, RTS Student Awards. It was a very hotly contested category. It's a hugely important category um, and as you know, um, the areas that make up this category are so important to daily television and in fact this year has proven just how difficult it can be to create that television so well done to all of you for entering and um, without further ado I will open the envelope and announce that the winner in the non-scripted category goes to Fatherly made by Karen Pritzel Daniel Bolanus Mead of IADT. Huge congratulations and well done to you all. And I'm delighted to see that with us we have Karen Pritzel, who directed, sound designed, and edited that wonderful piece, Fatherly. Karen, I'm so delighted to tell you that you are the recipient of the trophy, the RTS Republic of Ireland trophy for best non scripted. I oh my god thank you that's amazing i can't believe it <laughs> oh how wonderful and what an honor thank you so much i i'm i'm over the moon absolutely over the moon and i know um i know our cinematographer daniel balanos mead from all the way from mexico he will be absolutely thrilled you started off as a makeup artist and you had a couple of bouts with iadt I did indeed. I, I, um, I trained with Tony Delaney in IADT, um, studied there with her um, uh, as a makeup artist and then worked uh, in, in the industry for a, a short time uh, on various uh, films and shorts and feature films and some, some have won awards. And uh, yeah, it was quite limiting, um, I think, for a lot of women back in those days. Uh, the idea of being a director or, or producing film it didn't seem like it's such a such an option so once I realized that it was possible to actually you know create the stories and make the films then you know it was something it was always it was always a passion of mine so I had to had to go back had to retrain and go back in and start think, again <laughs> Mia you are that's great and you're Peace Fatherly is now going to go forward to London for the grand final in June, which oh in goodness. which all the centres, the RTS centres, will take wow. part. So the very best of luck to you. Oh wow, that is just so wonderful. Thank you so much. And I, I'd also like to thank all of the lecturers who are also filmmakers um, at IADT. Um, you know, I had wonderful mentors in in Vanessa Gilday, in in Jean Rice, Frank Reed, Barry Dignam, um, Ronan. We we we've had such an incredible um, team there. And you're never making these things films by yourself and telling these stories by yourself. And and um, having Lee, um, the subject of this film, be so raw and be so vulnerable. 
um, really made this film what it is and a very important story, I think, for fathers. And now let's see the complete entry, Fatherly, by Karen Pritzel, writer, director and editor, and Daniel Bolanus Mead, cinematographer. I don't care. Our third and final category is scripted, and here to introduce it is jury member Leish Nivalik of TG Cahar. TG Cahar's record with regard to drama is outstanding. The famine drama Aracht, produced with the support of TG Cahar, was chosen as Ireland's entry in the international feature category at this year's Oscars. Dear Eve, the award for scripted programming is for all scripted work and can include drama, comedy drama and situation comedy. And we were looking for a strong storyline, direction that added value to the script, and also a range of technical and production competencies. The three finalists we've chosen are SOS. This is a tense and compelling piece of work. Almost the entire action happens in a small confined space, the control center of a low station. In a neat reversal of roles, the man who is usually depicted as just a disembodied voice is now the centre of the action. Everyone else is just a voice. The space for the action may be confined, but it doesn't limit. Clara's Room. This short piece has been described as a life in three minutes. It's a girl's history reflected in the changes undergone over the years in a locked off shot in her bedroom. In that small space, she and her mother enact the dramas of childhood and young adulthood. Deceptively simple in its narrative, subtle visuals shape the story in a clever and inventive way. And cease. The friendship between two girls is at the heart of this piece rather than the terrible events which stretches this friendship to its limits. The bonds of love and loyalty which the two girls share reaches breaking point but survives. The violent sexual assault and its aftermath, which is at the heart of the drama, is sensitively and skillfully dealt with. Hello, what is your emergency? There's always, is, is there somebody in there? Yes, hello, but what? Please, please man, you, you have to do something, please. please I, 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 Okay. okay, how can I help? Can I call someone? Oh, Jesus, they're coming down the end of the street for me, man, please. You have to call Sir? the guards or do something, man. Ah, oh, Jesus. Sir, are you all right? Hello? Hello, I need the cards, please. Richard, hey. How are you getting on? Fine. Everything's okay here.
Look, I'm sorry. third distinguished guest, Bill Malone, Director of Content, Virgin Media, and RTS Student Awards jury member, is here to announce the winner of the trophy for the scripted category. Bill and Virgin Media have been great supporters of the Royal Television Society Republic of Ireland Student Awards previous winners, screening several in conjunction with the Dublin International Film Festival on Virgin Media. Uh, it's been my absolute privilege to be involved with the uh, Royal Television Society Student Awards. Each year the quality of entries never ceases to amaze me and again this year is a fantastic standard. Um, it's a real uh, honour and privilege to be involved. Uh, right now it's a, you know, it might be a challenging time in the world but it's also a challenging time for, for content creators. I think it's probably a really exciting time to get into the business of, of TV making and filmmaking. Uh, there's a huge amount of opportunities opening up now as you know more and more streamers come on board more and more irish broadcasters partner with international uh, distributors other broadcasters other streamers it throws up a whole host of opportunities uh, for a content hungry world so content is uh, is king is that cliche that we keep on hearing uh, and the standard of content I've seen in the RTS Awards in previous years, which we've broadcast on Virgin Media Television, and this year has, has really been outstanding. So congratulations to all involved. Um, right now, um, I am honoured to announce the, the trophy for the scripted category goes to Cease. Well done. Fantastic work. And with us, I'm delighted to have Ashling O'Regan Sargent, who was the writer and director of that powerful piece, Cease. Ashling, I am so happy to tell you that you are the recipient of the RTS Republic of Ireland trophy for best scripted piece. Oh, great. Thank you. <laughs> That's really nice. So That's congratulations. So nice. Uh, I'm sure you've loads of people to thank. Yeah. Um, so I actually wrote a little list, sorry. Um, so I'd like to thank uh, obviously IDT for all their help in the National Film School, uh, Philip and Dylan, the producers, uh, Cormac, the cameraman, um, the cinematographer, Keen, the editor, and then obviously the cast did such a brilliant job, and then all the crew and family and friends that helped out with making the short. That's terrific. And Ashling, your piece is going to go forward to the grand final in June, where um, all the RTS centres will all compete for a final big trophy. And Dublin has a pretty good track record for where that trophy is concerned, especially in the drama category. So well done you and well, congratulations. You. Unfortunately, because of the circumstances, we can't actually hand you the trophy. But yeah. it's getting, <laughs> don't worry. OK, no worries. So well done again. Such a powerful piece. And you wrote it, you originated it, you directed it, you did everything. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Well, with the help of a lot of great people, but yeah. Well done. Thank and you. And good luck in London. Thanks. And congratulations to Ashling, who wrote and directed Cease. And now for the complete version of Cease and a note of warning that some people may find some of the content quite distressing.
Come here. Let me have a look at that hen. Will you stand straight? You're gonna make loads of new friends in London, aren't you? Trish, don't start. I'm not gonna forget you, like. Sure, you're gonna be all right. Yeah. It'll be nice. Our last night. Just me and you. Down on the beach with a few cans. You and your fucking cans on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> It's not my fella. Yeah, all right, Trish. <laughs> he's no, he's not. Pat, sure. He's going to that gaff. Nah, we're all your mates around. You're all right. The money going? Yeah, actually, loads. Maybe we will go for a few then. Be a good laugh on it. Right. Well, we're gonna get a bag of chips. So we will see you later. Yeah. Honestly, you need to cop on. What? <laughs> we just go down for a few. Go on. Be a good laugh. That was meant to be us two. Down on the beach like always. Oh, it doesn't matter where we go. It'll still be funny. It's only around the corner. Come on. Mm, yeah. We go there and you're hanging out with Leo Smith for the night. I won't. I won't. Come on, Patty. This is our night. Please. Please. Right. Fine. Yes. <laughs> Come on. <laughs>
Hands up. Patty's um, Patty's up for me. Okay. I'm dead. And I'll see you oh. later. Yeah. How did you do that? <laughs> I actually do have that. Stay for a minute. Honestly, if I don't get back to fight you, I'm a dead woman. Look, I'm sorry. It's all gone. It'll be all right. I promise. He said he was sorry about you.
Hello? I'd like to record him. I've done something bad. Congratulations to all our winners and the best of luck to those going forward to London's grand final in June. In addition to the category award winners, we have decided to present two craft awards to Kira Rigney of IADT for best cinematography for To All My Darlings and to Dara Gowen, also of IADT, for screenwriting for SOS. I salute all our entrants for their Trojan work in this very difficult year and hats off to our nominees, all of whom will be receiving a Royal Television Society certificate in due course. My thanks also go to our distinguished guests, Dee Forbes, Director General of RTE, to Alan Esselmont, Orange Stewart, TG Cahar, and to Bill Malone of Virgin Media, and to our hardworking jury who spent many hours viewing and assessing all the entries. And above all, a huge thank you to James Hackett, our technical supervisor, who made all this possible. Good night to you all. Stay safe and well. Bear Banner.